expressing events in a shorter way using formulas. We don't just use formulas to express scientific phenomena, they are also used to describe daily activities in a shorter way, especially when these activities are recurring and have the same routine. You may have used spreadsheets, like Microsoft Excel, to express a number of events involving the same variables in different situations. Thus, after writing the formula, you simply insert the input values and as a result, the output values appear automatically in the in the designated cells as shown in the figure below, where the average of all input values is calculated through the corresponding formula. We have the following shown on screen. Thus, instead of adding all values manually and dividing them by the number of values to calculate the average, we simply insert the input values in different cells, here from B3 to B12, and by means of the formula of average shown in the top right part of the figure, we calculate the average of the given numbers, here 59, shown in the cell B14, with just a click. Indeed, if we add all numbers manually, the sum is 590. Since there are 10 numbers in total, the average is 59, 590 divided by 10. However, the formula method is more suitable, as we simply replace all input values with others to obtain the average without having to add them manually. Likewise, many companies use formulas to calculate the cost of services they provide to customers. This saves a lot of precious time for employees who deal with customers. For example, if the cost of a drink in a restaurant table is D equals $2.50, and the place reservation per person costs are equal $6, the bill B is calculated by the formula shown in the following on screen. Or more specifically, we obtain the following shown on screen. Where N is the number of drinks a person orders. In this scenario, we have assumed that all customers have ordered the same number of drinks. In this way, the waiter has to insert only the number of customers N in the restaurant table and the number of drinks per person n to calculate the bill. Example Matt has £4,700 savings in the bank. He gets a job and is paid £12 for every hour he works. Assuming he spends nothing, write a formula for the amount of money Matt will have after he has worked for hours. Solution the amount of money Matt will have after working for 8 hours in the new job will add to his savings to give the total amount he will have. Thus, we can write the following as shown on screen. When written in symbols, this relation becomes the following as shown on screen. On the other hand, when written as a formula, the previous relation becomes the following as shown on screen. where M is the total amount of money Matt will have after H, hours. That is all for lesson 8.1.3, to continue this tutorial please watch, 8.1.4, substituting into a formula. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. For more information, calculators, and tutorials, please visit www.icalculator.info.